Every year, thousands of objects approach the Sun and our planet. Although 99% of these can be explained as space debris and other man-made objects, some of them aren't so easy to explain. A recent photograph shows what looks like a giant planet close to the Sun, with users putting forward possible theories for what this object is. Some who have spent time looking through Soho images have said this isn't the first time this thing has shown up, saying that whatever it is, it's huge. UFO believers think the object could be a giant unidentified flying object, while some have theorised that is a planet, although many disagree with this, and say that space agencies most definitely would have picked up on this. Most believers in the unknown have said that these objects are UFOs, and that every year hundreds of these crafts can be found close to the sun and the moon. One person said the following, It's hard to find out what this thing is because we don't have much to go by, but there's definitely something there. In some of the live videos you can see solar winds moving around these objects, telling us that it's hitting something and then being deflected. Perhaps it's natural, but either way it's strange. While another person said this, Although I don't believe in the majority of alleged crafts seen close to our sun, the ones that interact with solar rays are the most interesting, because they can't be explained away as things like space debris or camera anomalies. I've watched these cameras and also the cams from the International Space Station, and in my opinion the majority of these things are man-made, but this one seen close to the sun definitely isn't that. Firstly, this object is massive, and as I said it's definitely there because it's interacting with the sun's rays. I'd be interested to hear what NASA has to say. End quote. With the public having instant access to photographs from the International Space Station and the Sun, there's no shortage of these objects that some say is evidence of advanced life forms. Another object that believers say has been seen close to the Sun is that of a giant craft, going on to say that whatever this thing is, we have photographs of it firing beams into the Sun. Not everyone has got on board with the idea that giant UFOs are firing energy beams into the sun, but amateur researchers have said they've got photographs of this happening, and that, as of right now, NASA has failed to explain what these photographs show, with one amateur researcher saying the following, I've been looking through the Soho images for years now, and these are some of the most interesting anomalies that you'll see. We are only describing what we see in the images, and it does look like a giant craft is firing a beam of energy into the sun. Another object that sparked the interest of believers was that of a giant UFO that had four arms. They have said that this object has been seen flying around the sun at different times of the year, and has said it can't be a planet because it's moving too quickly, and it can't be a piece of space debris because it's too big. One user said the following, isn't it interesting that NASA always replies to the photos that are easy to explain? We know that this space above our Earth is filled with debris, but they never give us an answer for some of the strange objects that have been photographed. It's like they pick and choose which ones they want to answer. End quote. Interestingly, on the SOHO website, NASA did reply to some of these claims, with them saying the following. The most common sources of UFO claims are planets. These always look very strange in Lasco images, because they're so bright that the image blooms, and the CCD pixels bleed along the readout rows. Some people try to claim that they're flying sources, based on their appearance. I've also heard the claim that they're previously unknown Saturn-like planets, with rings around them, you can also see what I'm talking about on the Soho Hotshot page. Another one is cosmic rays. High energy particles from the solar wind, and the galaxy as a whole whip around the Soho spacecraft, and interact with the detectors. These produce spots and streaks on the detector ranging from a single pixel, to large streaks that span a large fraction of the image. These are most evident during a solar storm, as can be seen on the Hotshot page, but are always present at some level. I know that some people have claimed they've seen spacecraft looking things that seem to be moving around, but which are obviously cosmic rays when examined by experienced observers. P. 
people see a cosmic ray at one location in one image, and then another random cosmic ray hits the nearby next image, and they claim that both have the same thing moving between frames. Sometimes you'll see a cosmic ray seem to persist in the web images for two or more frames. This is because we lose a certain percent of the data coming down from the spacecraft. In Lasco, such losses appear as square blocks in the image. The software that puts the images on the web will fill in these blocks from the last good image, and if there's a cosmic ray in that block from the previous image, it will appear in this image as well. The thing to check for is to look for the raw data files, which are also available on the web through the Soho catalog interface. Software glitches Occasionally we'll have some problems with the software which produce the images for the web, and strange artifacts will appear in the data. These glitches are usually corrected within a few days. In fact, we've had a couple of instances of that recently. End quote. NASA ended by saying that the space agency has never captured a UFO on camera, and has always been truthful about the objects in their photographs. As of right now though, amateur researchers have said they don't think these photographs show space debris, or things like camera anomalies. A man by the name of Adhar just posted this image, saying that thousands of birds suddenly fell from the sky in India. Adhar didn't give away his location, but did say it happened close to Maharashtra, saying that the birds could be heard in the sky and could be seen flying around in circles before they started dropping one by one. The man continued and said that people were taking photographs of the event, but couldn't understand what was going on, and why the birds were acting the way they were. Worryingly, Maharashtra officials reported that hundreds of birds had passed away in a similar manner, saying that samples were sent to the National Institute of High Security Animal Diseases and Pune's Animal Disease Investigation Center. The government has said the birds are healthy and shouldn't affect people's eating habits. But the question that still remains is why are these birds falling out of the sky? And why is this happening in other locations across our world? One resident close to the region said the birds suddenly started acting strange, and that they went outside due to all the noise that the birds were making, saying that this isn't something they've heard or seen before. After observing the birds for around 10 minutes, they said that some of them did fly off, but the majority of them looked depleted, as if they'd been shot by something, and one by one they started to fall from the sky. What's odd about this is that they said the birds looked healthy, and visually couldn't see anything wrong with them. This isn't the first time that residents from India have reported such an incident. In fact, back in 2020, Thousands of birds were found on the shore of India's biggest saltwater lake. Over 2,500 birds were found in the region, all of which seemed to have suffered the same fate. Rather worryingly, this happened during the same time as the other mass bird die-offs. During the months of December 2019 and January and February 2020, various people across the planet have reported that a huge number of birds were found all of which passed away under mysterious circumstances. It's not known what took the birds' lives, although a variety of different explanations have been put forward to try and explain what's going on. Some suggested that all these cases come down to natural phenomena, saying that these birds likely got hit with something, such as hailstones or other atmospheric conditions. However, this doesn't explain the most recent event that happened in India, with residents saying that there was no atmospheric conditions that would have affected the birds so much that they would fall from the sky. With others following on from this and saying that it was like the birds were hit with something mid-air, and it caused them to fall to the ground. During 2020, it was reported that the amount of bird deaths in India was actually wrong, and instead of there being 2,500 birds, officials said the number was as high as 5,000. Indian authorities started to investigate what had happened, with them saying that different species had become victims to the event. One official told the BBC the following, We are counting the dead birds. They are strewn over the entire area around the lake. 
some 20 to 25 birds who were still alive were being treated. At this moment we suspect there was some level of toxicity and high levels of salt in the drinking water. We are also looking at other possibilities. However, a local bird watcher came forward and said that nothing has ever happened like this in the region, and that he thinks there's more to it. Further saying that the birds were very distressed by something in the area. As of right now, no one really seems to know what's going on with these animals, and why it's only affecting birds. Various theories have been put forward, which range from the Earth's magnetic field, to global warming and cell phone towers being installed and tested in the regions. Interestingly, some people have announced that after these towers have been erected, various types of wildlife in the region have started to act strange. This isn't just some out there theory either. According to the website Little Peckers, a site that specialises in bird health, they said the following. In May 2018, the EU-funded review body conducted an analysis of 97 studies. It concluded that radiation from mobile phone towers, Wi-Fi and broadcast transmitters is a potential risk to insects and bird orientation. The magnetic orientation of birds, mammals and insects could be disrupted by magnetic fields. The authors of the review have emphasised the need to enhance our knowledge of EMFs and their impact on wildlife. 237 scientists have now appealed to the United Nations, asking for the risk to be taken more seriously. Electromagnetic fields produce radiation, and airborne species are at greater risk of being exposed to this. In addition, birds' feathers act as receptors of electromagnetic radiation. Studies have suggested that this radiation may cause psychological stress, and reduce birds' ability to recover from such stress. Radiation could also be causing psychological issues, including mutated embryos. End quote. Recently, many of these birds have passed away near recently installed towers, causing some to question whether these things are affecting these birds. One person that lives close to one of these towers and who's an avid bird watcher said it would explain the strange circling that's been observed, saying that these towers seem to have a direct effect on these birds, and it's almost like it's confusing them. While another person said the following, I've seen videos of these birds flying close to these towers, and it seems to be messing them up. I'm not going down the rabbit hole of what some people believe. These are just my observations. I've seen this happen firsthand, and the only thing I could see within the immediate area was one of these towers, so I think that they're having some kind of effect on these birds." End quote. As of right now, officials and companies who are installing these towers have said they have nothing to do with it, and various tests have been carried out that show these things are 100% safe, and are not behind what's happening to these birds. They continue to say that they're completely safe. So what do you make of these stories? And why do you think these birds are falling to the ground? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.